Good morning, Magic. I'm Gavin Verhey from Wizards of the Coast. And in Commander Legends, there are two main creature types you can draft a deck around. But why do this here? Well, today let's dig into it and also show off a brand new preview card. Here we go. Early on in Commander Legends design, we identified that creature type matters or tribal could be really awesome here. Now there's a few reasons for this. First of all, there are many commander players who really enjoy tribal centric gameplay. For example, Commander 2017 did very, very well, and those were four creature type focused decks. Up second, when you draft a tribal deck, often it feels like you've really drafted a deck. It's not just a pile of cards, it's a well oiled machine. And that's not unlike a bunch of commander decks you might have built. And finally, tribes make for great drafting handholds. If you haven't drafted that much, tribes can show you what direction you should go in. And we were expecting a lot of commander players who might not normally draft to come over and give this set a try. On my vision design team, the tribe that we decided to go with was zombies, all kinds of cool graveyardy stuff. But when I handed the set off to Jules, he decided that blue black would be great for graveyard, but zombies, not so much. However, he didn't drop the tribal mantle. And in fact, he upped the ante. Jules and his team decided they would do two different creature types that you could draft. The first was green black elves. Elves are a classic magic tribe, and I imagine many of us have probably tried building up a commander elf deck at one point or another. There were all kinds of cool elf reprints we could do. There were plenty of new elf designs we could make that would really help out elf commander decks. And there were plenty of legendary creatures in magic's history, which were elves that had never gotten cards. So it was a pretty good fit. The other tribe though, I think is a little less expected. Jules and his team needed a blue red tribe. And so they chose pirates. Now pirates only really had a recent comeback in Ixalan but there were already plenty of pirates players wanted us to make. For example, Breaches and Malcolm, and we could give them both cards here in Commander Legends. However, when it comes to reprints, unlike Elves, which there are a ton of in existence, pirates needed a little more help. So we made quite a few new pirate cards. So let's take a look at today's preview card, Coercive Recruiter. It's five mana, four and a red, for a four, three orc pirate. And whenever Coercive Recruiter or another pirate enters the battlefield under your control, gain control of target creature until end of turn. You untap that creature, and until end of turn, it gains haste, and my favorite part, becomes a pirate in addition to its other types. Yar! Continually using active treason one or even more times in a single turn can be a huge game swing. Plus, it even makes them pirates too to help out with your pirate tribal bonuses. And yes, if all else fails, it's also just an immediate game ender with Kiki Jinki. So in Commander Legends, we did elves and pirates, but now I'd love to know from you, which creature type would you like to see more support for? Let me know in the comments below. I'll talk with you again tomorrow with another Commander Legends preview card. And until next time, when you're opening packs, may you find the perfect rare R. You got this. And one of the 32 reprint legends coming to you in Commander Legends is this one, Karametra, God of Harvest. This popular green-white commander from the original Theros block shows up here. Play some creatures, accelerate your mana, what's not to love? And all of these foil -esh cards, Karametra included, can be put into your deck if you open them in draft or sealed, so keep an eye out. Now the one 